All right, today we are up in what's called Sago Canyon with everybody, checking out some rock art by the Anasazis and also people who are good at graffiti. And a child who thinks he's Mr. Boss Man. And one child who keeps getting lost. So we're gonna check out some of the rock art up here and around. Some more rock art that we found. This is on private property. I'm right at the fence line, so I can't come any closer. But you can see the drawings in there in the rocks from the Anasazi people or whoever was here. There's some more up on that rock, kind of a black face there. And then there's some up over here on the face of that rock. Let me walk over there and show it to you. I don't know, this one may not be real. I'll look it up when I get home. Yeah, this could be fake. So we're gonna take the uh, Land Cruiser up the canyon here and hope that the CV joints don't fail on the way up. We're just driving on a dirt road, obviously. No rock crawling, but it's easier to take this up than the truck right now, because the truck has a trailer on it. We're not sure what this thing is. It kind of looks like an oven or maybe a kiln. We're not sure. Let's go take a quick look here. Looks like they're trying to preserve it, but it's kind of cool. We're just driving up Thompson Canyon with the cruiser. Take a look at stuff. This cottonwood tree is huge. Look how big this tree is, Jen. Probably some old timer's house there. You'd have to be like a freaking midget to get inside though. Maybe the floors used to be a lot bigger. It looks like there's a fireplace back in there. And roof and stuff on there still. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that is a root cellar because see, it's got a vent to the root up to the top there. Cool. All right, this is a Sego graveyard here. We're going to walk through it and kind of look around. Man, these are these headstones are really uh, hard to see. Nothing left of them. Really? And his headstone's that far gone? Wow. What headstone? That's what these are called headstones. Did he say lurch? What's the thing with the coins on, uh, John? What's the things for the, what's it mean when you leave coins on headstones? Somebody comment down below and tell me what that means. Here's a, uh, this guy was a sergeant in the U.S. Army in Vietnam. He was in Vietnam.
born 724 26, died 724 26. Born 1883, died 1918. So they've used uh, tracks from ore carts to build this uh, roof. Get down here, Violet. Come on. This is a cool building we just found off the side here. Somebody's old car seats or something. Ah, uh, it was a dirt roof. Looks like it all fell in. Really well built. Look at the roof was all metal. Probably pretty stayed pretty cool in here. The walls are like two foot thick almost. Yeah, it's a bad thing with metal. Yeah, so we just found this driving along. Cool. All right, we found a couple more little homesteads, I guess. In fact, there's not much left to this one. But across the road here, we have, looks like a, a mine, open like mine shaft or something. And then there's a house. Violet, come over here. Hey, over here. Over here. Stay with the people who know where they're going. Go. It's hard to be a midget. Push her with her. It's a desert. Things poke in the desert. it went above. It's like a house there. So there's their old bathtub right there. dug into the back. They could have. Get out of there. That must be their bathtub, right here. Weird to have it at the front of the house. Hey, don't go in there. That looks like a like a room. They added on to it. Let's go over that way. like a uh, fallen in mine shaft over here. This is probably a house or maybe uh, some kind of uh, shed or something I bet. If you look over here in the distance that's probably where the uh, coal mine was. tracks up there. Looks like it used to be tracks. You can see the rail uh, ties up there kind of hanging down, falling down. Go over here and find, see what they found. Some uh, cement foundation here. It's this hole. Man, you can barely see it right there. I'm not sure what this was. There's a wall built right over there. Pretty cool. There's 
just more of the wall. Weird. So it's kind of a retaining wall over there and right here. I don't know. You see this up here, the road? It's actually a rail bed up there. You can see the uh, rail ties have fallen off. And then you can see the tail edge of the mine way, way over there. the name of it or if it's just Sago but this is pretty much the most impressive building left I really wish we knew what it was this annoys me <laughs> when I don't know what things were for I'm listening to Ross and Violet in the background Violet's freaking out because she couldn't see me for a second Hi, little one. Is there? Whatever this was, it was like built really well. That's fine. It <laughs> doesn't matter. be a floor above us, see? That would have been a floor. Let's see. Yeah? I don't know if you could walk on the roof. That's probably just how they held the roof up. Look at big windows. Doesn't look like it's been exploded. Does it? Let's go this way. Yeah, I think it goes over this way. Is there white? Maybe some air. Her <laughs> oxygen pipe. That was a chimney, it looks like. So yeah, they probably used it for ventilation and exhaust.
It's another building. Too far from the big one. Max is convinced that if he touches sagebrush, he's going to be covered in ticks, so it's hard for him to get around in this kind of environment. Everything is too bushy. It's like storage, probably. I don't know. Let me know. Looks like storage. <laughs> being just out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you can tell the scale of it, but it was big. It was a big building. And there's just, you just come around this corner and there it is in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's really cool. Obviously there was some other stuff here at one time, but. Considering the easiness of the road to get here and that it's so close to I-70, it's definitely worth it, the short trip. Mm -hmm.